Hello my gorgeous ladies, welcome back to my channel. This week's video is going to be centered on the color cobalt. Cobalt blue is such a very hot trend for this upcoming fall season and I wanted to put a quick lookbook together that would be giving you guys some ideas on how you'd be able to style the color and playing it up with different colors and patterns and basically giving you guys some ideas on how you'd be able to wear cobalt jeans specifically for your body shape because I wanted to point out that yes you can have a pop of color if you are a pair and you have wide hips and you're an hourglass or regardless of your body shape and size that you'd be able to style the look and be able to get away with it as long as you know how to visually balance the overall look. So let's get started with the first outfit. So for outfit number one, you could definitely get away with wearing it during this time of year since it's still transitioning into fall which allows you to work with cooler color combinations like the mint green and beige pairing. Now if you're a pair or hourglass and have wider hips, although the colored jean brings attention to your lower body, the flowy mint tank will also catch the eye because of the color contrast and because it's flowy creating some volume, which also is exaggerated since I tucked it in. You can also wear this look if you're rectangular since the tank adds volume to your upper body and tucking it in will reestablish your waistline. If you are an apple, I don't suggest tucking it in, rather leave it loose which will conceal any insecurities that you may have with your stomach area. Outfit number two is a bit more playful and can still be worn during this time of year. The red and white contrast refocuses the eye once again if you're a pair or an hourglass. As you can see, the blazer is double breasted which is ideal for the pair and rectangle since it adds a little bit more of visual volume to the bust area. Since we're wearing pops of color on top and on the bottom, no one section of the body is being over exaggerated which works well for all four body shapes. So as you can see here, I chose to work with leopard print flats to add some interest and to keep things fashionable for the look overall. Now I wanted to point out that if you are tall, you can definitely work with flats as a, an alternative to heels if you're not comfortable wearing heels or you just don't feel confident walking in them because what they do is they can visually shorten your legs visually and won't exaggerate your height or make you appear that much more taller than you are. Now that being said, if you are petite, especially if you are a pair, hourglass, or plus size, I would definitely suggest that you don't wear a flats a lot because what they can do is they can add visual weight to your legs making them appear short and stubby. So you can go ahead and you can work with heels. If you don't feel comfortable walking in them you can go with a two or three and a half inch heel. At least it will be giving you some height and it will create some lengthening effects going on with your legs and won't have them appear short and stubby. So outfit number three is perfect when it's chilly outside and you want to wear a nice chunky sweater to feel warm and cozy. Now I love the gray and blue combination because I just feel it's perfect for that transitioning time into winter. And what I love about this sweater in particular, the high-low, is that if you are a pair or an hourglass and you want to conceal your, your wide butt, you don't feel comfortable or confident walking around showing your butt, then that's fine. You can go with something like this because it's not going to fall at the widest part of your hips in the front, but it's going to conceal you in the back. Now what I love about the actual cowl, cowl neck of the sweater, that chunkiness that you're seeing up top, is that it's adding some dimension and some volume on top, so it's going to balance you out visually in the front. Now you can definitely work with something like this if you're rectangular because again the cowl neck is going to add some volume to your bust area and to reestablish that area for you. Now if you are an apple, this is also great because it's not so tight and conforming to your body, it's loose fitting, but it's not extremely baggy or loose if you're one that doesn't like that type of style and fit. So you can definitely go ahead and wear this even though there's a cowl neck going on. It's not going to add too much volume to you, especially you want to try on these type of sweaters to see where the cowl neck is going to fall. If it's going to fall down a little bit lower, you can probably play around with it. Uh, bring it up top, kind of do an off the shoulder type of thing and just play around with it to see what you'd feel more confident wearing but you'd definitely be able to sport this look regardless if you are an apple shape as well. So on to our fourth and final look. Now I love leather and colored jean combinations because I feel like it just adds more interest, more uh, edginess to the look and I just think that it just keeps things a little bit more interesting and specifically with this cobalt blue color, the black and the blue works so well especially for winter and um, since I'm talking about leather jackets I wanted to point out that I do have a blog post on selecting the best leather jacket based on your body shape. Yes there are the most ideal shapes and cuts for your body 
body shape. So I will place a, a link to that blog article down below that will take you right over to that and will help and guide you to selecting the best leather jacket for your body shape. Now I wanted to point out also with the shirt that I selected, the horizontal stripes, if you are a pair, you want to do anything on the upper part of your body with horizontal stripes because what they do is they widen out your trunk of your body which is typically narrower in comparison to your lower so it's going to kind of evenly distribute your uh, width and it's not going to make your wide hips look that much more exaggerated or that much more wider than your upper body so if you are an apple I would suggest that you do the opposite and you go with vertical stripes because they are going to visually um, slim you and if you are petite it will visually lengthen the trunk of your body so you don't want to do horizontal stripes if you are an apple because it's only going to widen you out more and you already have a wide trunk body as it is and it will only be exaggerating it more. So as always, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching my video. I hope that you guys learned something new and gained some inspiration in styling cobalt for this upcoming fall season. And if you have any suggestions or things you'd like to see in upcoming videos, don't hesitate to place that down below in the comment section. Or better yet, you can message me on Facebook where I'm constantly answering body shape questions. I'm posting body shape tips and ideas and styling your body shape. So you can definitely get a hold of me there as well and to be able to interact with me more and the rest of my viewers and readers so until next time don't forget to like comment and if you have not already supported by subscribing subscribe and I will see you guys in next week's video take care